Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity and you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so today i'm going to pretty much um i'm gonna go over three star seeds today is the 10th episode of three types of star seeds so i'm gonna pretty much um go over three more types of star seeds and that's actually going to make 30 different beings that i've been able to cover and um each one of these beings are obviously able to uh, reincarnate themselves within physical human bodies that's the whole idea of a star seed Okay, and they're all from different star systems, other than a few exceptions, like the Agartha and, uh, and and a little bit more, you know. But but 30 different types of star seeds in all, with today's video. So let's get right into it. Today's video is three types of star seeds, ten. Let's get right into it. The first type of star seed on today's uh, episode, or this month's episode of three types, is the um, Betelgeuse or or Betelgeuse. Uh, I don't really know how to say it, or yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it, it's spelled B E T E L G U E S. So I'm gonna say. Betelguis, uh, Betelguis, something like that, Betelguis, Betelguis, um, the, the appearance, it's similar to, to a gray head, you know, like, you see these, these gray heads with, uh, they have very large bulbous heads, and they're very, very pale, and their skin color are even translucent, and they have very, very large, dark, uh, saucer-like eyes, the the similar uh, the appearance of the the Betelguese is very similar to to that, but um, they're they're like they have larger noses, you know. Um, the the gray head doesn't even have too much of a uh, too much of a nose structure in the first place. I think they're more like flattened, but the Betelguese is more. Uh, they have large, very, very distinct noses, you know, not like a human nose, though it's like, it, it's not like a human nose at all, um, but it, it, it is large nose, and they have a uh, darker skin in comparison to a gray head, and they're a little bit slimmer and a little bit taller than the, than the gray head is as well, um, so that's a little bit on the appearance of the better boys, star seed. Their uh, dimensionality would be 4D to... 3D to 5D, or uh, I also want to say it would be like 3D to 6D, you know, maybe, uh, I don't really know because pulling in a dimensionality is a little bit harder, but the origin uh, of the Betelguese is from Betelguese, which I believe is an Orion, so it's an Orion star seed, okay, um, its purpose is to provide observation and exploration 
four uh, Orion peoples, okay, or Orion beings. Its lifespan is 500 years old, so it can live to pretty much 500 years. Um, and it, it, it's some of the traits is it's very stalking, okay, uh, in the way that it's doing its observation. You know, if if you find yourself stalking a lot of the time, you know. Um, something that carries itself out through you you know chances are you could hold some genetic information of the better boost uh being you know or um not only stalking but they're just very highly highly intelligent being they have a very uh easy understanding of the fourth dimension okay they're very otherworldly as well meaning if you ever meet somebody who is very very like otherworldly they're very uh fantasy or they're just very very surreal they could be holding uh orion dna or, or genetic information of a better beast okay and they're very slim and relatively tall as well so they're they're very slim beings and they're very um they're not incredibly tall but but relatively tall in comparison to let's say a gray head or maybe even uh Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit on the better breeze. I don't have any other information other than what I have given you. Okay. So I guess we can get into the next star seed. The next star seed, or the second star seed on today's video, is the um, the Alturian. Okay. So the Alturian. It, it, it's a type of reptilian, okay? So the Alturian is a reptilian uh, being, okay? Its appearance is it's semi-scaly skin. It has semi-scaly skin, but it's not entirely scaly, you know? Um, it has very dark gray flesh, okay? Or dark gray or dark blue flesh. It's like a gray blue dark gray blue flesh okay and it's semi scaly and it has like a, a crest along its head you know like you know what a crest is it, it's like a, the opposite of a, a valley you know it's where your head would have like like a peak on it it has a crest going uh, kind of like this all around its head and uh, its nose is indented, so it doesn't have a nose. It, it's like pressed in, you know. It, it, it's kind of just missing the nose in, in, in its total, in its totality. Red, and then it has red eyes in color. So the pigments of its eyes are usually red. I'm pretty sure they can be like a dark brown as well, or any color close to to what a red color would be. But yeah, it's a little bit on the appearance. Remember, it's reptilian. It has a uh, semi-scaly, dark gray or blue skin. It, it has a very indented nose, and it has uh, a crest running along its forehead in this type of way, like like that, you know, all around the head. And then uh, it has red eyes. The pigment of its eyes are red, or it could be like dark brown as well and very dark color pigmented eyes okay its origin is uh altair or aquila okay and its dimensionality would be 4d to at least 6d okay so four dimensional to six dimensional its purpose is to also observe earth's ascension and intervene only the ways which are permitted by the galactic corporations so it's pretty much uh, like the better breeze it's an observer you know it's being this being is being used to observe earth through this uh, phase of ascension okay and uh, they can intervene but they they usually won't intervene but they can intervene only whenever it is permitted by the galactic corporations which oversee the entirety of the, the Earth's uh, story, you know, human history and whatnot. Um, some of the traits 
is they are technologically advanced. They are a reptilian race as well, so they're uh, a type of reptilian. They are a high flying species, meaning they are all uh, linked singularly, okay, uh, mentally. Like um, if you've ever seen that episode of Rick and Morty, they, they show Unity, she's a hive mind being and she can take over planets by, uh, by by having everybody kind of turn on to her because what she is she's like a bodyless being she's just uh, a mind uh, a mental field and then she'll go planet to planet and then she'll she'll uh, pretty much take over the planet by by controlling the inhabitants that are already on the planet or native to the planet by uh, bringing them to like a hive mindedness you know and then she controls them in this way it's that exact same uh, phenomenon the the alturian race is a hive mind species and uh their hive mindedness is pretty much being controlled by the galactic corporation as well so the galactic corporation pretty much has them under their control and they're using them as observation uh, they're using them as uh, observed of earth's ascension during this time and then they have them intervene whenever uh, something is needed by the galactic corporation you know and then uh, they're extremely wise beings as well because they're reptilians and reptiles or, or just reptilians in general are very wise beings okay so that's pretty much it on the on the alturian so let's get into the next one, the last star scene in this month's episode, is the, uh, I think this is the accursion, okay, or the, the accursion, or uh, accursion, accursion, okay, uh, the appearance of this one, it has very large bulbous head, so, it, it kind of looks like a gray head, another gray head type of being, you know, where they have very, very large heads. They have very, very small faces. Their faces will literally fit into the, the section of where my um, chin is, you know, and then the rest would just be a, a large head. But this is the type of, of being the, the uh, accortion is. They have large, bulbous heads. They have large, dark saucer eyes, so they have uh, those famous dark, very, very large black eyeballs, you know, that look like flung saucers. Uh, their skin is like a sand color to a dark brown color, and they have like three crests on the top of their head. So, so they have like three peaks on the top of their head. They have one going over here, they have one going over here, and then they, one, they have one coming down the middle. So three crests and then uh they have very very small faces and then uh that's pretty much it on the appearance so they have large bulbous heads their skin color is a sand to a dark brown color they have very very small faces they have very very large saucer like dark eyeballs and uh they have three crests on the top of their head okay so uh these the the uh accortion star seeds their origin is from sextons it's a star system or the sextons star system okay and they're uh fourth dimensional to eight dimensional the fourth dimensional beings to eight dimensional beings their purpose is to provide services to the earth okay simply they're just here to uh help the earth ascend they're here to provide whatever ser services that they have um and that's that's their purpose you know they're, some of the traits are they are also highly, highly intelligent beings. They have the uh, fastest ship or technology in, uh, I want to say on the Earth at least, coming to the Earth. They have the fastest ship, okay? And uh, I'm pretty sure this also includes their technologies as well. They're very beneficial beings. They're very curious beings, okay? Uh, and then, and then a little side note is that they actually crashed their ship in Brazil, 
and uh, I believe the the world officials or whoever was in charge of the of the uh, the crash ship they treated them very very badly. Okay, and then um, I I don't know what really happened after that, but they were treated very badly as a people, and uh, and, and it's just kind of much more unfair to those people, you know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a little bit more um, on the, the last story, on the other story, but that's all I'm gonna include. They crashed their ship in Brazil, and then uh, by the officials who discovered it, they were treated very, very badly. Okay. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for today's video. That's it for uh, this month's episode of Three Types of Stars. I just wanted to pretty much introduce to you more. The Better Police, which is a type of gray head looking alien with darker skin, and larger nose, taller, slimmer. Okay, um, the the Altarian is a reptilian being, so a reptilian being, they have dark gray to blue skin, semi scales, uh, indented nose, and then they have a crest on their head as well running horizontally and then uh they have dark eye colors pigments usually like a red color or a brown color okay and then the uh of course which is a type of another gray-headed alien but uh they have three crests on the top of their head and then their skin color is dark brown or it, it's dark brown and a sand color so it has like a sandy color skin and then dark brown as well. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And I hope you did enjoy today's or this month's episode on Three Types of Star Seeds. Subscribe over here to the left. If you didn't have a new channel, just subscribe. Drop a like on this video to the right of me and support the channel until we can generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura it needs to be realized and strengthened for the collective rising consciousness i love you everybody have a great day peace out